All right, guys. So the next in the numeric building function is mod function. Okay. So what is the objective of a mod function? So the objective is something like this: that it gives you remainder of a particular division. Right. So it it goes something like this: that if I take a different text box over here and we say, let's say, I want to go for mod of nineteen comma four. So what is happening over here is this particular function is going to divide nineteen by four and it's not going to give you quotient. It's going to give you the remainder. So if you divide nineteen by four, guys, so it goes something like this. Let me take you back to school days and if I just remind you of the division, right? So the division goes something like this: that so if I divide nineteen by four. It was something like this, right? Four times four is sixteen, and the remainder comes out to be three. This is my remainder, right? This is my remainder, and for the sake of knowledge, this is called as a dividend. This is a divisor, and this is called as quotient in a particular division. Quotient. Pan me, pan me handwriting, guys, please. Right. So here, what this nineteen is my dividend. I'm dividing nineteen, right? And four is my divisor. Right, the quotient is not there in the scene. This mod function is going to give me what the output over here will be nothing but the remainder of this particular division, which is three in this case. So the output comes out to be three. Not a lot of great application when it comes to real life scenario, but it, it might so happen that somewhere I might require to use this. Now let's see how how can we use this in SQL. All right, so here I'm using the orders table over here, and as you can see, I've already selected the entire table from product. Okay, so this is what the fetching is going to give me. Right now, let's say I want to understand how many I want to, uh, you know, for inventory purposes, I want to group the product quantities available in a group of, let's say, bunch of four. Okay, so I like to see how many cartons will be required or how many particular unit space area is required. So I would like to see that how many different elements will be left if I put in all the product. Quantities available in the group of let's say four. Okay, so I'll go for this and I'll go for select product underscore id, and then I want to go for let's say mod of. Okay, the function is already there. Mod of product underscore quantity underscore. Avail. So I'll just be slightly careful about the spelling over here, right? So available from, and I'll have to give a comma over here, right? I have to give, let's say four. This is the number with which I want the division to be done from. I can call this left over. Okay, I'll just call it left over, and I'll call it. No, oh, alias has to be as left over. So this is my quantity now, right? Now another further application of this would be. Let's say I want to understand uh, if I group all the products that I have as a company into groups of three, how many products will be left over? If I have uh, a query like this, we can go for uh, using the select statement again. Select, uh, and I'll go for count. I'll go for product ID. Right. So it is going to give me a count of all the product ID over here. Right, so it's going to give me a count of all the product ID, and once I have the count of all the product IDs, for example, if I have total number of forty-three products, then it's going to give me a count of forty-three. Right, so I'll just run this from let's say product, so that we can see this. Right now, if I run this and So it's going to give me a total of sixty-two products over here. Now I'll say that if I want to group all these products in a group of let's say seven, so I'll have to go for something like mod and mod of this seven. It's going to give me remainder when sixty-two is divided by seven. As we can see, the total number of products are sixty-two, and I'll give a alias over here as left over, right? So this is how it is. This is how the mod function is going to give me reflect a remainder over here. Now, personally speaking, not a lot of uh, different application is seen about mod in real life, as far as my experience goes. It might be there, but uh, in my experience, it is not there and uh, not that high. Uh, but yes, whenever there is a lot of mathematical operators are involved and SQL is being used over here, mod will come out to be handy, right? Let's move to the next function, guys.